and welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Saturday baseball on the show. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you, and a big-time win streak is on the line today, Chris. No one's really sure how much a manager impacts wins and losses over the course of the season, but I'll say right now, this manager has been making all the right moves. About to get started here, and on the hill for the Phillies, Taiwan Walker. What do we need to know here? Yeah, he battled through seven innings last time out. He pitched well enough to get the win thanks to that offense. He'll look to turn in another quality start in this one. So digging in now for San Diego, Xander Bogarts. Center field, Marsh moves under it. And a quick out number one. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. One of the stars in the win yesterday as he had three hits. In the air, left field. Schwarber settles under it. Two down. Two outs, base is empty. Here's Manny Machado now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Taiwan wow. Walker, a sneakerhead, saying he's got over a thousand pairs of sneakers. Are we serious with over a thousand pairs of sneakers? He's like you. How many That's do you have? Not a thousand. Two and old account. Here it comes. That one ripped left field. Out of here. Manny Machado leaves the yard. And they jump out front. It's 1 0. playing with that high fastball then look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time absolutely crushed that pitch two outs nobody on and next will be the cleanup hitter Juan Soto first pitch doesn't find the zone Chris Juan Soto is one of the best young hitters we've seen come along in a long time of course helped the Nationals to win the World Series in 2019 and he won the batting title hit 351 in that shortened 2020 season you know, with the shift on, hits right into it to first, and that is that. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's an early 1-0 lead. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. And on the mound in this one, Seth Lugo. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he went the distance last time, came away with the W, and we'll see if he can continue that trend in this one. We go to the bottom of the first. Now, here is Alec Bohm. Into center. A dive, and he can't haul it in. Around first, digging for two. Not stopping, he's going for three. Safely into third with a leadoff triple. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. The ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's 0-2. Little trouble with this one behind the plate. Nola fires over to first. One gone bottom half of the first. Trey Turner now. Collected three hits in the loss yesterday. Yeah. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Boom. Stands at third with one gone in the inning. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Soto going after it. Makes the grab on the run. Runner tagging from third. Lay at the plate. Not in time. He's safe. It's 1-1. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Found back our way, and that's out of play. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. And it's fouled away. But why to kick the pitch? 
swing and a pop up in foul ground. Machado racing makes the catch. So they get one. Top of the second, and here's the veteran outfielder, Nelson Cruz. And the pitch. Bounce to third. Boots it. To first, and he just gets it there in time. One away. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Two homers in the game yesterday, so he's feeling good coming in. Walker, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a splitter, a slider, a sinker, and he occasionally uses a curve. Swing and a high fly ball left field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two away. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. In the air, left field. Schwarber in pursuit. Brings it in. And that is that. We head to the bottom of the second, and now the veteran catcher, JT Real Muto. Ripped to short. Bogarts with the throw to first. And Real Muto is out. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. In there, and it's 0-1. And there's the strike. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Swings and misses. Now two away. Scott Kingery up to hit. In there for strike one. Tied up here in the early going. Swing going a pop up foul out of play off to the right side that'll find the stands. The O2. Just oh. off the outside part of the plate. Line drive. On the run, sends it over to first. That's the inning. Top half of the third inning, leading off, Ha Sung Kim. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Calls it in, and there's one away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that quickly, two away. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Tosses across the first. Oh. Back here in Philadelphia as we go to the last of the third. And now for the Phillies, Reese Hoskins. In for a strike. It's 0-1. Hoskins measures 6 feet 4 inches in the 8th spot in today's lineup. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. The 0-2. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Wow, short work to send him packing to start the inning and no messing around either. All three pitches were in the strike zone, attack mode all the way, and that's pretty impressive given the pop he was dealing with at the plate. Soto tracks it down for the out. And now it's Alec Bohm. Swings through that one. 0-1. Bohm in his fourth year, 26 years old, a former first round pick back in 2018. Strike two. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. And down on strikes he goes. And good work. As we go to the top of the fourth. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. Out to center. Marsh moves under it. 
Makes the catch. And there's one down. Here's Machado. He's already homered in this one. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Manny Machado, his brother-in-law, is former major leaguer Yonder Alonzo. Both those kids grew up in Miami. And, of course, Alonzo, a guy who ended up having a nice major league career. Marsh hauls it in. And there's two away. Here's Juan Soto. 0 for 1. He grounded out in his first at bat. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Singy Taiwan Walker originally drafted in the first round by the Mariners back in 2010, and a guy who's put together a very... This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Makes the catch crashing into the wall. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the fourth, and now it's going to be Josh Harrison. High fly ball out into left center field. And there's one down. Here's Turner now. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Crushes it. His 13th home run of the season, and they jump ahead in the fourth. It's 2-1. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. Clearly some frustration out there on the mound right now. I mean, that ball was so close to going foul. Would have been a long strike, but instead, batter gets rewarded. Did a nice job of getting to the pitch and hitting it hard enough to get over the fence. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. And that's in there for strike one. Chris, remember the Cubs won it all in 2016. Well, Kyle Schwarber suffered a regular season-ending left knee injury two games in. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. And that one is going to go. A soaring shot to center is 21st of the year. It's 3-1. Jacks and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in the lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto. That right, one's in there, 0 and 1. But he was added to the World Series roster and became the first position player to collect a hit in the World Series. After going hitless during the regular season, he still has the text from Theo Epstein that said, you made the World Series roster. Fires the second too late into second with a double, and that was hard hit. One out, runner at second. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. And a strike. Strike two. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even a week or more. You know, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out nope. oh. what can get him back on track, back to feeling more comfortable and settled in in the box. Little dribbler up along third, and he grabs it in foul ground. That's off the mark. No, two low. balls, oh. two strikes to count with two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
Good job at damage control right there. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. And this is now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. The pitch. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. And now, Matt Carpenter. He's 0 for 1. Swung on, belted. That's back there. Oh! His 47th home run of the season, and we have a tie ball game. It's 3-3. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, Boog. Aggressive, and it paid off. He's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. To the slight opposite field, into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. First offering, misses the mark. It can be tough to bounce back after a big home run, but nobody on, nobody out. You just have to treat it as a fresh inning. That's ripped. Base hit. Go ahead, run on base. Now it's the second baseman, Ha Sung Kim. 0 for 1 with a fly out. And a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Line drive to short and caught. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more on the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Over to first, and he saved. And that one lifted in the air center field. Marsh moves under it. He's got it. And there's two down. And here is Xander Bogarts. Lifted in the air, right center field. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. And that is the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. We're tied now with three apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And digging in for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. There's a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. And that just misses. So now one and two to Reese. Gets a piece and stays alive. And a pitch. Got it by him for the K. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Here's the 0 2. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. 
Oh, Boog, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me written all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. <laughs> tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 okay. now. This is important. If he can go 1-2-3 here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Waves at the bender for the strikeout. Back at Citizens Bank Park. Now the number two hitter, Jake Cronenworth. Just a weak fly ball this time. And there's one down. No, that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Machado oh. lays off down low as he digs in for the third time. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. One gone runner at first. Here's the left fielder, Juan Soto. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Just so sound in his mechanics. He hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Next for the Padres, Nelson Cruz. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. High in the air, out to right. Castellanos makes the play. Runner tagging for third. And he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Swing and a pop-up. Foul territory for the catcher. Real Muto makes the play, and it's out number three. Welcome back. Bottom of the sixth inning. Here's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. Base hit, center field. And the leadoff man aboard. Trey Turner at the plate. He's already homered in this game. Bounce to the left side. Into the outfield base hit. Lead runner to second. So two on and nobody out. That's back-to-back -back singles for him. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find a hole. A chance now to take the lead. And at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. First and second here, no outs. Going to count one and two. One and two. Got him. Snap throw. No, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt no once you've One committed. Track. He tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. Fly ball down the line. Cruz on his way over. Racing makes the catch. And there's two down. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but a competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. If he can get through this one with the zero, this will help in his outings to come. That misses. Two balls, no strikes to count. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And the right hander deals. And now it's filled up. That's a really good take. Next offering is foul back. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Harrison, the lead runner at second. Turner on at first with two down. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Phillies leave a couple. Score remains tied at three. And welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. And now the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Swing and a foul straight back.
And the righty deals. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. On the ground, right side. Harrison whips it to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. So digging in now for San Diego, Ha-Sung Kim. Left field. Schwarber settles under it. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. Two down. And now it's Austin Nola. Smash to the left side. Fires over to Hoskins, and that'll do it. Back here. Your Citizens Bank Park set for the last half of the seventh. And now the DH, Scott Kingery, Nabil Prismat, gets handed the rock out of the pen. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. This to third, and that's foul just foul. The wind of the pitch. Fights it off, you'll see another. On the ground, right side. Over to first, and one away in the bottom of the seventh. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at one. And a foul ball, he stays alive. The 0-2. Fouls it back with two strikes. And he'll two. And downstairs. No, that's, that's well, that's kind of what you expect in an 0 2 count. Ball, Excellent great. job of the hitter to have the plate discipline to lay off of that pitch. The 1 1 is fouled off. Now well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. Fair ball! And that rolls into the corner. Makes the turn and heads for second. The throw in, not in time. He's safe. Good two-strike hitting right there, Boog. A bit of a lost start for some, so that was nicely done to beat the odds. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And that'll fall for a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He scores, and they have the lead. It's 4-3. to three. Picks himself up in RBI. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And that's a base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Couple of singles back to back. Challenged him with the fastball right in the heart of the zone. He was clearly ready to jump all over. Up the middle. Diving! And he can't make the play. Runner from second crosses the play. It's 5-3. Now the tag at third. And they got him. Well, the defense definitely on the clock with that one. Everything had to be perfect to get the runner at third. And you talk about the throw on the money, the relay to third. Just a good job all the way around. Trey Turner with a chance now. He's already homered here in this one. In for a strike. And it's 0-1. 0-1. Just no, missed. So now one and two. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. Harrison leads off first with two down to the inning. Got him looking for the K. Fastball to letters frozen. So the Padres have chased the starter, Craig Kimbrell. 
These are the spots where Levers really make a name for themselves late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Into center field, that'll fall for a hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. That takes care of Cronenworth. One away. Manny Machado up to the plate. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. Now these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but you know, at the very least, if you could find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really Go important ball. to get him back into this ballgame. Next offering is downstairs. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Out there to center. March flashes the leather on the run and catch. And now it's Juan Soto. One for three. Pitch misses nope, inside. Good. And that's ball one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Right. And that's through there for a strike. In the air, left side. Schwarber makes the play, and the inning is... Back here at the ballpark, out of the bottom of the eighth, and now Kyle Schwarber. Here's a new pitcher from the pen, Tim Hill. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Just misses with that one. Really good slider. He's up there just hoping that it ends up off the plate away. Next offering is fouled back. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Oh, nothing too fancy on the strikeout pitch right there. Just a low 90s fastball. I'm not sure he was trying to challenge him, but that's pretty much what happened. Very hittable location, but he found a way to just get it by him. Late swing fouled off. pitch stays alive popped in the air left field Bogarts brings it in with a nice running grab and that's ripped into left base hit so a two out knock keeps the inning alive well, he's been having a hard time just putting the ball in play in this one, so that should help soften the blow. Solid swing from start to end, on time with everything, really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line yeah. drive knock. Next offering is in for a strike. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. Two on now with two away. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. That one off the mark. And that is ball one. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say. Insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. Yeah, yeah there's the strike. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Next offering misses, and it's two and two. Hammer 
And this one could be extra bases. Castellanos on his way to the play. One run is in. Kingery around third. He'll score. Two runs are in. And they're up by four. Stringing them together. That's three hits in a row. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king. But I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. In there, and it's 0-1. 0-1. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Out towards right center field. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. They get two runs on three hits, no errors, and one left. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Matt Strong. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. Bullpen activity starting up now. Andrew Bellotti getting loose out there. Hard hit left side. Fires over to first. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Stepping in, Matt Carpenter. Next pitch is popped up. He's got it. There's two away. Well, that's what he's looking for with the fastball above the zone. A swing and miss or weak contact. And now here is Trent Grisham. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And at first, stepping in for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Phillies get back in the win column as they take game three of the series. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by these guys to get it done for the hometown fans.